Good morning. So today we're working with Kuma. We're also <laughs> working with Mr. Cosmo, but mostly uh, going to be concentrating on Kuma with Leave It. We've got a portion of their their meal there that we'll be splitting, and we're going to be practicing some some weight discipline and some Leave It discipline, and we'll, we'll reward them at the end, you know, with the food. But for now. Trying to get her up here and situated. Come on. Good girl. Up up. Good. Sit. Good job. Good job. I like using the elevated bed just because it gives her a, uh, a physical place to be on. And having to step up and down it can create a little bit more of a barrier. You can do the same thing with like a hula hoop done before or just some tape on the ground or like a, a towel or one of their beds. But it's just helpful in the beginning to have something, sometimes just for ourselves too, that's like a physical barrier. That's something tangible that we can keep them within. Good girl. So just having her on. Wait. And then releasing. Kuma, come. Good girl. Oh, hi, Cosmo. Would you like a treat too? Good job, bud. Good boy. Good girl. Huh? So we've been warming up with that, and now the goal here is to get her to. Good girl. Good, leave it. Up, up. There you go. Good job. Sit. Good job. Kuma, come. Or Cosmo. Ended up combining their names. Good job. Wait. Wait. <laughs> kind of. Let's go ahead and reset her back up top. I think she was searching around for some crumbs. Okay. Come on up. Come on up up. Good girl, sit, wait. Good girl, good wait. Okay, free. Well, she didn't come down, but that's okay. I was just gonna reset her anyway. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna portion off some of the, uh, some of the food. It's a little windy, so hopefully it doesn't just blow away on me. separate bowls and we're going to place them around her and then we'll release her to each one. The same with Cosmo. Let's see, do I have any more? I think I should, yeah. There we go, all right. We'll do... And this one will have a little bit more for her. And then these they can split. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead. Uh-uh, leave it. Good girl, come. Up, up. Stay, stay. <laughs> come, up, up. You can tell already she's excited for the food. Stay, stay. Good. Wait. Leave it. Now when I have her leave it, I want her to actually refocus her attention from the food back to me. So I'm gonna gesture back up to my eyes when I ask her to leave it. Leave it. Good girl, there you go. Oh, you can't see in the camera. We'll try that again. All right, so the food's going out that way. Kuma, leave it. Good girl, there you go, up here. Good job, good leave it. And then I'll just reward her for refocusing on to me. Good girl, good job. Okay. And since she's got off and she's kind of oh, moving around, don't want this to hit her and scare her. We'll go ahead and get her over there. And now what I'll do, uh-uh, wait, uh-uh, wait. <laughs> so if she is too tempted by it, 
starting her off further. Wait. Yes, good girl. And then putting it down. Might have to act a little cool. Good boy. Hold on, bud. Hold on, Cosmo. Good girl. Leave it. Cosmo. Uh-uh. Cosmo. Good boy, wait. <laughs> Usually we would do this with one pup at a time, but that's fine. Good girl. I just wanted him out as much as possible, get him used to uh, moving around outside. <laughs> and I figure this would be a good, uh, good way to see if it would actually tempt him to move, which is good. Come here, bud. Good boy, come. Come, there you go, okay, wait. So what I'm gonna do now is just walk her by. Come. Have her main focused on me. Good girl. If she uh, if she doesn't, then we'll prompt her to leave it and come back up for to me. Good girl. Leave it. Yes. Good girl. Good. Leave it. And now it's always easier if you're in between the item and your pup to start off with, right? Because you can block them having the leash on. I can keep her away from it. Um, but eventually, what we want to do is be further away on the opposite side and have her still follow us or come to us when we ask her to leave something, right? Good girl. Right. Wait. Leave it. Good girl, uh -uh, I'll leave it. Yes, very good. Good girl. Okay. Leave it. Had to grab the leash there. Uh-uh, leave it. Wait. Good girl, wait. Uh-uh, leave it. Uh-uh. Leave it. One more. Leave it. Kuma. Very good, thank you. I'm gonna have this one, uh-uh, stay, uh-uh, stay, on the floor. So back inside, we start up high, like countertop height, which is actually easier because it's out of her line of sight. And then we kind of move down to like the eye level of a, using a, a chair or the steps and then having it all the way down on the floor and then having her leave it too. Good girl, wait. Uh-uh, leave it. And all we're doing right now is just practicing her leaving something, right? Um, to make it harder by creating multiple things uh, all around her, right? I could move them around and place them around her. Um, can also make it harder by having higher value items, right? So instead of just their, their food and kibble, um, regular people food, you just wanna make sure that you're careful not to use anything that could be poisonous to dogs, like with uh, anything with garlic or leave it. Um, Anything with garlic or chocolate, things like that. Um, we usually practice with like my lunches too. So I would make my own lunch. Good girl. I would set it down and then I would just have her leave it. And then giving her a reward either by coming to her or by recalling her away from the food, like the opposite direction. As she gets better at that, uh, we can actually recall her in the direction of the food and having her kind of walk by it to come to us. Kuma, come. 
Oh, very good. Good girl. Good job. Cosmo, wait. Good job. So, I'm gonna get them both over this way. Cosmo, come. A little scared from uh, the leash. Cosmo, come. Oh, good listen. Good job, big guy. Good girl. Good. Sit. Sit. Almost. Come here, bud. Sit. Oh, starting to move the food. Good boy, good sit. There you go, you got it. You know sit. Good job. Good girl, wait. Wait. She's starting to scare herself because she's moving the, the platform again. Wait. Sit. Okay, go ahead. Uh-uh, leave it. Kumo, or uh, <laughs> Cosmo, Cosmo, yes, up here, uh-uh, up here, leave it. Uh-uh, Cosmo, leave it. Haven't gotten as much practice with Cosmo, but this is a good opportunity here. Good boy, good leave it. Okay, that I got. Good boy, come. Come on, Cosmo, you can do it. There you go. He's kind of dragging everything along with him, but that's okay. Come on, Cosmo, come on. Good job, there you go. Good boy, very good. Okay, sit. Uh-uh-uh, come. Sit, wait, wait. Gonna give Cosmo his first, wait. Good girl. Okay, go ahead. Right. And that's how we would practice. Like I said, if it was just with her having her move in and out, and now, uh-uh, Cosmo, leave it. Thank you. Good boy. Let your sister eat. You sit. Oh, drop something. It's okay. Sit. Good boy. There you go. Um, but with her last night, just kind of having the bulls around and having her walk by them, refocusing on me, and then having her sit in place while I put the bulls out, and just having her wait patiently. So really developing that focus and that patience with her, and then releasing her, kind of just like this, but without her, her little brother. But he did good too. Good boy. So I just wanted to make that video, uh, just because it's been harder to work with her on her, um, her barking or, or her social skills. So the next video might just be like a traditional leash work with both of them. Just trying to run through a couple drills. He's getting a little bit better about, about just following me um, with a, the leash pressure and then also when the leash is just dragging without. So um, just <laughs> we'll go ahead and, and end the video here. But they did really good. Good girl, you did good. Here, you want to come back up here for me one more time? Come, place. Good girl. Cosmo, you want to join? Come here. Stay. Cosmo, come. Cosmo, come. Come on, Cosmo. Come on. Use a little bit of leash pressure. Cosmo, come. Yes, perfect. There you go, good job. Okay, good job. Good boy.
Good girl.